Hello, my name is Chintan, and in this video, we'll be learning how to model the Los Manantiales restaurant by Felix Candela. Now, this is located in Mexico City and was built around 1958. So, let's take a look at how we can model this beauty inside of SketchUp. Let's go. Okay, so open up the meters template and then go to draw, then shapes, and then click on polygon. And now by default you can see it makes a polygon of six sides so that is a hexagon so change the number of sides to 16 and then press enter after that draw a polygon with 16 sides of radius 20 meters like this and then draw a line like this vertically straight after that rotate this line from the midpoint from this point to this point holding down the control key and then type 7x to make 7 copies like this now each of this face is a triangle which is not what we desire at the moment so we can turn these to quads like very easily we can simply zoom in a bit and draw like a very small similar polygon at the center and then select these faces and press delete now each of this face has four sides and is known as quad after that activate the vertex tool plugin like this and then select alternate vertices so you can do that by selecting these then holding down control and select these like this now you can see we have every alternate vertices selected and the vertices in the middle after that move these up by 10 meters like this and then deselect the vertices in the middle by holding down control and shift and then use this gizmo along with the shift key and scale it outside by 1.5 like this after that move it again up by 15 meters like this and now we have a shape that looks like this so we can select this and make it a group now we basically just need to subdivide this and give it a smooth shape so let's see what happens when we subdivide this so bring on the sub d plugin which looks like this and if we try to give or turn on the subdivisions you can see it sorts of averages out the whole shape and make a shape like this but what we actually want is for these edges that lie at the bottom to stay in the same place so like that not get subdivided so we need to give it a crease value so we can do that by editing the group like this select this line and then press ctrl r on the keyboard which selects all the rings or the, all the supporting loops and then deselect these so now we have every alternate line like this after that click on this tool that says crease tool and you would see these small numbers you can simply click and drag on them till they till you reach one and then click outside and now these edges has a crease value of one so now if we go outside the group and turn on sub d again you can see these edges stay in the same place and now if we increase the number of subdivisions like this we get a shape that looks like this Now you can close the sub D plugin and then make a circle from the origin. So let's increase the number of sides of this circle to let's say 64 and then make a circle like this. After that use the join push pull tool and give it a thickness, any thickness that is greater than the height like this 
Now select this face and if you right click on it and intersect it with the model that would intersect with each of the parabolic shape. So double click. If you double click on this and hit delete you can see we made these shapes. So we can simply make one of these a component by pressing G on the keyboard. So this is component one. Now also we can keep the bottom. So make this a group. And if you triple click on the remaining part and press delete, you are left with something like this. After that, we can simply rotate a copy of this from this point to this point and type 7x to make seven copies. And also give it some thickness using the join push pull tool. So let's say 0.6 like this after that edit this component turn off similar for the rest of the model and if you double click and deselect this face you can simply copy these edges and then select everything and make it a group inside the component and paste the lines that we copied in the same place like this now if you turn on the vertex tool plugin you can simply extrude them like this so let's say 0.2 and if you select everything deselect this group and make this separate group we can edit this group now select everything and simply give it a thickness using the join push pull plugin like this Now edit this group and you can turn on the hidden geometry like this. Then select these dash lines. And give it a profile or simply like let's copy it and then paste it outside the group. Make it a group. Then select everything and let's give it a profile. And similarly, edit this group again and also give it a glass material like this. Now we have something like this. Now right click on this and make it to plain mesh. Then edit it, select everything and use a tool known as join push pull tool but it's called something like vector vector push pull or something like that so Frido collection join push pull and it's known as vector push pull yes so click on this and if you click on this point you can lock the axes like this and then give it a thickness of 0.6 now when this finishes you have something like this and the top face or uh, faces are already selected so if you simply hit the scale tool you can simply scale it up like this so let's say 0.95 and also scale it down to the top mm, let's say 0.97 that it gives it a tapered look and if you simply turn off the axes and turn on the shadows now you can say we have modeled the Los Manantialis restaurant inside of SketchUp and you can do this with any number of polygons or like any num any polygon with any number of sides rather and come up with various different shapes and come up with some interesting forms like Felix Candela did in 1958 and you could imagine it was like a 
significant one kind of innovative structure back then so i hope you learned something new in this video if you did please consider subscribing if you have any doubts you can leave them in the comments and or you could join our discord server the link is down below there's a forum thing we built there that where you can like leave your doubts till then keep creating and i would see you in the next video bye